how do we reconstruct 3D objects under extreme illumination variation? This is 3D reconstruction. By reconstructing the geometry and appearance of 3D objects and scenes, we can immerse ourselves in the space as if we were there, and bring our visual memories to life. But these methods often fail when the input images are captured under varying lighting conditions. For example, moving clouds may change sunlight intensity, artificial light source may turn on and off, and even the shadow cast by the photographer can interfere with the scene. The problem becomes even more severe for unstructured image collections. So how can we make this work? Let's begin with the ideal situation where all the input images are captured under consistent illumination. In this situation, we can represent the scene as a 5-dimensional function that maps the 3D location and viewing direction to color and density. Since the rendering is differentiable, we can optimize the parameters of this function by minimizing the difference between the render and capture images. Building upon the NERV formulation, we can further improve its ability to model view-dependent appearance by predicting surface normal and ray tracing. But the assumption of single illumination is often violated. Unstructured image collections typically consist of images captured from different viewpoints under varying lighting conditions. One common approach to address illumination variations is to add preferred appearance embedding. This approach works well for diffuse objects and scenes as the surface appearance does not drastically change with viewing direction. But for shining objects with strong view-dependent appearance, this method becomes problematic. The appearance variation across images can be attributed to either changes in lighting or changes in viewing directions, leading to ambiguities. Applying a state-of-the-art radiance field reconstruction algorithms to these images fails to capture the object's shining appearance and instead incorrectly render it as fully diffuse. How do we solve this? Our core idea is to try the multi-view image diffusion model to jointly relight all the input images so that they match the lighting of a reference image. By fitting a 3D representation of these relight images, we achieve accurate geometry and view-dependent appearance reconstruction. However, we cannot simply use a 3D reconstruction pipeline on these relight images. Here is a toy example to help illustrate the problem. While these relight images appear correct, residual inconsistency remain. These residual inconsistencies lead to reconstruction errors. Adding preferred appearance embedding helps reduce the filters, but not fully resolve the issue. Visualizing the environment maps recovered from the relight images reveals slight distortions. This indicates that the relighting model introduces small errors in its implicit surface estimation. This motivates us to account for the inconsistencies in the surface normal estimation by adding preference shading embedding. These small changes lead to more accurate reconstruction and rendering. Let's see some results. Here are the input frames captured in very different lighting conditions. Our approach reconstructs accurate geometry and view-dependent appearance. In contrast, the baseline method struggled to explain away the lighting variations in the input images. In this challenging case, we successfully reconstruct a highly refractive object and produce realistic rendering. Check out the project website for more visual and quantitative comparisons. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.